you have several different things that I see going wrong now in the industry. We talk about this. Uh -huh. See going wrong in the industry, and I'm talking about college strength and conditioning for, let's just go ahead and, and categorize it as football, s and C in the collegiate setting. What are one of the things that you see that, that should be changed or that you could change um, that you see from all other coaches that you think is not exactly the right way of doing things? I think I think the biggest thing I see in the industry as a whole mm -hmm. and social media has um, made this issue bigger because I'll be honest with you, if it wasn't for my job, you wouldn't even knew I was on this planet, man, because I'm a type of <laughs> when this is over, I, I sent a picture to my wife this morning of this cabin in the woods, man, and just <laughs> driveway. I'm like, that's me. That's yeah. that. Oh, I'm off the grid. Yeah. As long as I can roll and lift some weights and be around my family, I'm cool, man. I can live off the land. But I think the biggest thing is we we bat we we bash each other, man. Like mm -hmm. like we like we like we try to put each other's programs down. And like you told me, you 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 have a big conjugate background. That's what I'm trying. I'm on my conjugate grind now. That's what I tell mm -hmm. people. I'm like I'm trying to learn about this this mm -hmm. whole side thing and this whole philosophy and this system they use because it has proven results. And it's just I feel like I got to broaden my knowledge. Yeah. Instead of me bashing conjugate, why not learn about it? And mm -hmm. I can do it like you said to me. You said, Drew, well, what do you do? I said, honestly, we sit, we sit with a simple, basic linear periodization. You like you mm -hmm. just earlier. Well, it's been working, so mm -hmm. stick with it. And I gave you the reasons why I've stuck with it. And you weren't mm -hmm. like, oh well, conjugate so much superior. You're like, dude, that's cool. Like I respect that. I think that's yeah. one of the biggest things we don't do. We don't respect each other's situation because. You don't work for my head coach, and I don't answer to your bosses. I don't answer to your fighters. I don't answer to you know the the boxing coach or the jujitsu coach or the Muay Thai mm -hmm. coach. And we all have a different situation. And maybe, maybe just maybe, sometimes those head coaches say, "Hey, Drew, I don't like." Let, let's just I use this example all the time with my assistants. If the head coach and this has never happened, mm -hmm. but the head coach came down and said, "Drew, I don't want my dudes to squat in season." Mm -hmm. I tell them every reason why we still need to do some type of lower body squat in mm -hmm. because of strength development. But if he said, you either don't squat them or you're fired, well, I guess we're not squatting. We've got to figure out a different way and maybe yeah. it's something different because I'm not going to not adapt to the situation. So I think the yeah. biggest thing is we could do a better job in the industry as coming together. And I'm not saying it's all going to be kumbaya. Let's agree mm -hmm. to disagree. Yeah. But let's not be like attacking each other's program because honestly, I see it every day. And I read yeah. through some subliminal bullshit that people put about each other's programs. Yeah. This that or when what's the first thing that happens when a dude gets fired from a college? The new strength coach comes in and bashes everything the old guy did. Oh, absolutely. And I'm yeah. like, bro, didn't you you got fired at some point? Because to me, there's two types of coaches in this field. Those that have been fired and those waiting to be fired. Fired. Fired already. <laughs> I know the Grim Reaper's coming. You got to stay ahead of the posse. So yeah. I know that was kind of broad, but that's just something that's heavy on my heart because I think there's a, I think everybody has their way of doing it. And I respect everybody's way of doing it, even if I don't agree, man. Yeah. Even if I think, you, like, like, man, that dude, that dude's a little out there. I don't agree with that. Yeah. It's what I have to respect because you're in your position for whatever reason you're in your position. And that's where God felt he needs you. Yeah. And he said, hey, Drew, I need you here. So keep your ass in your mind in the same spot and worry about Colorado. Yeah, so that was kind of a setup question because I knew, <laughs> I knew that Drew was going to say that. And, and that's why I wanted it because I wanted positivity, right? And that's, I mean, at the same time, we, we always look at it from the perspective of the coach and what they have to do per circumstances and situations. Yes, sir. And, and, then, and then that's where you can really figure out, well, why did they, and I always look at it that, that way too as well. If I'm looking at like an Instagram post, I'm like, until I see some crazy outlandish stuff, then maybe I'll be like, okay, well, he's, he's doing this for likes. But for the most part, if I know the coach, I always say, and, and I'll get DMs from other coaches, like, what do you think about this? I'm like, it fits for him and what he has going on. You know? Exactly. It's, it just is what it is. 